Alright lads, so today we're going to be reviewing Purple Hero, Daniel Jinjek, plays for Stuttgart in the Bundesliga, is 6 foot 3 tall, right foot, he's got medium medium work rate, the 3 star weak foot and 2 star skills. Looking at his in-games, he stands out to his 93 strength, 89 shot power, 81 finishing, 80 heading and 79 attack positioning. We have also included all his upgrades over his normal card as a comparison for you. So you can see each individual stat upgrade from all of his stats, so you can always pause it for a close look at any of them now. So this is the team we used Hero Jinjek in, a 4-2-3-1 Bundesliga side with Jinjek at striker. So now onto the gameplay, so you can see how he was performing. Now Hero Jinjek does have some decent stats on card with that 80 shooting and 82 physical. Does make him look pretty decent and was good in that lone striker target man style role. Up on his own, he did cope well. Now he's 6 foot 3 so he can win headers even though he's jumping is only average but with that height he still can get up there to meet the headers and he does have his awesome 93 strength and he was actually really hard to get off the ball we did manage to hold off plenty of defenders on our runs on to goal did that on multiple occasions as well so it does help out his pace which isn't amazing it's not that bad it does have 78 sprint speed so is decent enough for me but that strength really does help out holding off them defenders and he was good in front of goal. He's 81 finishing and 89 shot power. And did finish a lot of these chances in the box. Did make good use of that 89 shot power. Using that shot power to just power the balls home. Best is sticking to shots in and around the box. As his long shots are not good at all. We didn't even manage to get one on target. Never mind score or trouble the keeper. So don't waste your chances on the long shots. He's not going to be getting them. So just stick to it inside the box. Use his strength. He is a menace inside the box. Now his dribble and agility are only average. So it does mean he is a bit slow on the turn. But it's not actually that bad for a big man up top. But it is a pity. He does only have two star skills. Which doesn't do many favours in the dribbling department unfortunately. Unfortunately. But as we keep saying, he does have that strength to help him out when he's being challenged. It does make a big difference being that strong. Able to hold off the defenders does make a, a real difference. Wasn't that bad in the air as well. So good for crossing with that height and his strength. He's able to get in front of his markers in the box. So he can nod home a few headers for you. So it does make a great target man up top to be honest and I really would suggest that is the role for him as a lone striker target man and he probably just takes the best silver target man on a over informed Pettersson in the Bundesliga for me. So he's your best option in a, a silver Bundesliga team up front. So let's have a look at Hero Jinjek's performance stats. So in six games he managed to score 10 goals, didn't get any assists, all of his stats are on the left. Goals are on the right and the position map shows you where his goals were scored from as well. So overall we're giving Hero Jinjek a solid 8 out of 10. As we said makes a great target man. Especially for a silver Bundesliga team. Now did have decent pace as we said for a big man. Didn't find it much of a problem. His 93 strength was really really effective though. That was his major major selling point for me. And his 93 strength was really effective up top with holding off defenders and it did come in handy when dribbling. As we said, holding off defenders on his dribble really does help out his uh, pace as well. My only real negatives in Jinjek's game are his passing, which is quite poor, wasn't really hitting the passes for me, and his two-star skills, which doesn't help in his dribbling. You're only limited to ball rolls, so you'll have to get used to that if you're not used to two-star skills. But was solid up top on his own and does have great shooting for a silver striker. So finally, we're just going to leave you with Hero Jinjek's positives and negatives to look at. Now, his price range is a 15 to 60k on PlayStation, 10 to 40k on Xbox. So it's fairly cheap, but it's quite hard to find because of that cheap price. There's not many of them on the market, but it's highly recommended for a silver Bundesliga or if you're making a silver German team as well. Great player. His only faults being them work rates and them two-star scales. But if you can get over them, I think you're going to enjoy uh, Hero Jinjek. So hopefully you did enjoy the review. If you did, please leave a like. It does help out a lot. We're trying to grow the channel as much as we can. Try to do the most in-depth reviews on YouTube. So please subscribe if you're new to the channel. Loads more on there to check out and loads more to come as well. Stay tuned for that. Thanks a lot for watching, lads. Cheers, lads. See you later.